Welcome back to Muddard. We are on the hunt for joy in the cemetery because we're partners now. We're helping each other out, but she did ditch us momentarily and she said she'll meet us in the cemetery for us to progress our investigation. So our new objective is to go and find her. <gasps> Julius Fort, 9 of 38. Uh, okay. Did I just vanish? Right. Hi. Uh, you okay? I don't know. I was so drunk. We both were. One minute her hands were all over me, the next I'm in the water. By the time I got back up here, she was gone. She pushed you? No, nothing like that. Like I said, I had one too many and lost my balance. I just didn't expect to find her missing when I got back. Something must have scared her off. Yeah, uh, like your floating corpse. <gasps> what? what? Forget it. He doesn't realize he's dead. I don't want to help him. Let's move on. Hi. There she is. It makes you miss the warmth of the police station, doesn't it? Your secret errand was to get a flashlight? Keep it down. I can't see you and we're not talking to each other. Got it? This place is crawling with people. Don't want to know. Hey, we're still people. Oh uh, yeah, if ghosts see him, Ronan talking to Joy, they'll want her to help them. The book says that there's a murder that happened right here. All I see are dead leaves and mud. This can't be a dead end. I'm not already. What am I gonna do? Figure it out. Come on. Just leave it to me. Let's go and talk to that ghost, huh? Need to determine if there is a link to the Bell Killer murders. Yeah. Okay. So I've got zero of eight clues. Let's check the gravestones. Ah ha ha ha! Why is this here? Grave digger's shovel. Why would a shovel be here? Graves aren't dug with shovels. And if it were part of the crime, the cops would have taken it with them. Valid point. Police tape! The cops must have left it behind after they finished their investigation here. Huh. This might be difficult. Excuse me, but, uh... Did you see the police investigation here a few weeks back? Not close up. I think there was something behind me, but I'm not sure. Thanks! <laughs> what can I learn from ob observing this? <laughs> Deceased. Washed up. Tattered. Ghost man saw body. Another ghost saw the victim's body float down here from upriver. He might know more about it. Oh, hang on. The lady said she saw something on the shoreline. It might be related to the investigation, which we've just fucking found out, haven't we? We've just done that. Anything else lurking around? Doesn't seem to be much. Maybe we have to go and speak to the ghost dude. Yep, still a whole lot of nothing. 
Okay. Oi. I know I should go, but she might come back. Was it you that I was supposed to talk to? No. Where's the other ghost? Ah, you, dude. What do you know about the girl who washed up here? This thing floated down the river by her body. Think it ended up in the bushes over there. <sighs> okay. Bushes over there. Whereabouts? Oh, this it? Are you telling me that you saw the body? Is that what you're talking? What? Am I being? Am I just being an idiot? Hey, tell me that again. Quit bothering me. Motherfucker. This way? Sure. No. There's more clues here. Where? Bushes. Right, let me read it sort of. The witness saw. Yeah, we've done that. What the fuck? We know, we found it. Look, it's there. It's a body. Hey. Let me talk to that lady again. Pretty sure it was on the shoreline. Pretty sure we found it. What is this? Recent footprints. Can't get a clear set of tracks from the trampled ground, but this was obviously an important location in the investigation. Perhaps. Okay. Frame rate issues hopefully resolved now. Fucking hell, let's do my head in. Uh, we just need one more clue. And it's a shoreline thing. No, it's not. We've done that. Ghostman saw the body. Hidden in the bushes, here we go. So the witness, that ghost man, said that he saw something washed up ashore and it ended up in the bushes next to her, or near her body. So it's around here somewhere. Ah, uh, there you go. It wasn't like that earlier. Hard to see. Dark bushes. It's too dark in these bushes. The bushes are too dark to, do, to see inside. I need to find a way to search them with better light. Hmm, who's got a torch? Who do we know? Who we can talk to that has a torch? Oh, that's right, Joy. Hello. Joy, I need your help getting something out of those bushes. Uh, okay. Do it. Come on. Whoop. <gasps> I don't know if it's important, but this is all I can find. What did it say? I didn't see. There's something familiar about this. A noose? Ah, oh, yes! Pattern of the victim deaths. <gasps> All of the victims were bound and tied up before their murder. That is the most relevant clue, surely. I need to get up river, find out how she died. Better tell Joy. Her body washed up on shore, so she was murdered up river. But where? Miles of banks both sides. Might as well be looking for a needle in a haystack of needles. Mm. Oh, genius. It'll be a needle stack. Crawling with ghosts. I wish we could just ask her, Sophia. Holy crap, maybe we can. That's that ghost that was watching me. Freaking Where is she? Leave me alone. Where is she? <gasps> Hi. It's her. She's the one in the photo. Hey! 
Damn it, stop doing that to me, will you? Wait, don't leave me here with did you see that? Yeah, she was talking about this. Small favor. Give her Fuck. She can help all of us. Did you hear that? Of course I heard that. Demons. Ah oh, shit. <laughs> okay, watch out, demons about. So is Ronan. We are gonna. When he turns around, we're gonna fuck him up. So I guess we've got to execute all these demons and then try and find that girl. Is that right? Oh yeah. Whoop. So long, sucker. Don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around, don't turn around. I think that's it. Is it just a free? Yeah, I think it is. We're good. Oh, joy. Oh, look, yeah, and all the ghosts have just reappeared. Let's go. Come on. So what happened with Sophia? No, I haven't caught her yet. And why were you talking to me? Oh. Oh, thanks. Okay, so she, I think she went this way. No doubt there's going to be more graveyard for us to under, uncover. Undercover. <laughs> more graveyard for us to discover. That's the word I was looking for. Aha. Uh -huh. Come on, man. You can't be that hard. Then you get over here. Wow. Hi. Frickin' cursor. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. What's with all this crap? Crap? This is my great-grandfather's stuff from the war. Uh. It may look like crap because it's old, but it's amazing. Blood cake bayonets, gruesome letters about the war. I even had a sip from his old flask. It made me realize how soft people have gotten. Compared to what? Compared to men like him. Don't you see? Finding all this stuff was a sign that I should be the one to remind people. To make them choke on their own blood. Oh, okay. Please don't tell me you went through with it. I had it all planned out. But I died before I could. Huh. Just one more day and I could have changed the world. Listen, whatever you think this is about, it's not. Your great-grandfather fought to stop wars, not inspire them. Now just let it go and move on. If you don't understand, you're just a part of the problem. I don't think there's much help in that guy. Shall we just uh, mosey on out here? Yeah. And to be fair, I can't be bothered with you two. Uh... Ooh, there she is, Julia. <laughs> That is who we need to speak to. No, can't be bothered. <laughs> I'm not helping any more ghosts. Here we are in the oldest part of the graveyard, which was founded in the 1660s. Was that before or after the trials? Although this guy oh, intrigues me. That's, uh... Did everyone hear that? This young lady just asked if this happened before hey buddy, or after the famous You got a problem? It actually you could say that. I used to be a butcher so this before this bitch got a bug up her ass and started snooping okay. around. And we're going to People used to come from now. miles away so buy just from me. I had more awards than the wall space to hang them. Then, her little boy goes missing, and I'm suddenly on death row? Call it a hunch, but I'm guessing you killed him. I never killed him. I never killed any of them. 
I left that up to my pigs. Oh, god damn it. So you're just gonna haunt her for the rest of her life, then what? Simple. I'm gonna ask her how her son tasted. Funny thing about pigs, you'd be surprised at how much their diet can affect oh. their flavor. He didn't, did he? I hear there's a special place out there reserved for monsters just like you. Wow, okay. That's interesting. And uh, we will see you later. Okay, so there has to be... Quarantine? Okay, okay. You know what? We'll end this episode here. I'm going to have to do some funky editing thanks to Fraps fucking up. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. We will progress and find Julia and see what she has to say in the next episode. So until then, ciao for now.